Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime. So there's been a video going around where someone's opening wine bottles with a shoe. I decided to try it out, but not only that, I'm gonna take it a step further. I'm gonna see if it works with a regular cork and a synthetic cork, so stay tuned. All right, everybody, I'm back. So uh, I have my shoe. I have my bottle of wine that I'm gonna be trying to open with the regular cork, and I have a glove for my hand that's gonna be holding the top of the bottle in case it breaks. Try to minimize any potential that it may hurt me. So, uh, from what I understand, you just set it here and you bang it a few times. Giggity. So let's see if it works. And uh, nothing's really happening here. Yeah, mm, nothing at all. Um, I'll just keep trying. <sighs> nothing, this cork's in there. So at this point, I keep hammering away at it or I can keep the bottle safe. I'm gonna keep the bottle safe. So I'm gonna say, it's not working out for me here. All right, so now I have this bottle of Yellowtail uh, Shiraz Cabernet with a synthetic cork. Let's see if it works on that. Oh, we might have a little movement here. A very little movement. It's really not doing much. Barely moving. Okay. At this point, I don't want to break any bottles. I don't want glass to be in my front yard. I'm going to call this a BS. I don't know how that fucking dude opened it. I've never seen anybody successfully open this. I've seen them break, and I've seen people say that they hammer them on a wall forever and nothing ever happens. That's where I'm at with this. Um, so my conclusion is, I'm not saying it's impossible, I'm kind of doing a Mythbusters thing here. I'm not saying that it's impossible, but what I am saying is that it's going to be really hard to do, and you have to find the right bottle uh, that has the right type of cork and will allow for you to do it. What I do recommend is for $1, they have these really cheap plastic cork screws that will open a bottle of wine, and they fold back up in themselves, and you can stick them in your pocket. You can also, for like 4 or $5, get a waiter's friend, and they can open up uh, bottle of wine as well because they've been used in restaurants forever now. Anyway, this has been Stuart for Wine on the Dime. Well, this is a bust for me. Let me know if it works for you. I'd love to see if anybody in who's been watching my videos has had any success with that because I could literally just sit there and hit that on the wall all day and I don't feel like they're going to come out. So I'd like to get your feedback and your experience if you've actually successfully done it without scarring your hand. So I'll see you guys again soon with another video from Wine on the Dime. This is Stuart signing off. Thank <laughs> you.